Why, hello there. And another no heat. I just put this Goodman furnace in about a year ago exactly, so they have no heat here, so we're gonna see what's going on. <clears throat> Hello. How's it going? Oh, it's going. Oh, good. What's going on with your stuff here? Short cycling. Okay. Um, I don't know if maybe it's because of maybe the cold air returns probably being out of duty. I don't know. But okay. It just wouldn't come up to temp and come on. Just that short cycling. Okay. Go ahead and here. take your thermostat up for me, please. Yeah. Thank you. what's going on here. She's, she's got some coating in her. She was crusty. Well, hello there. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, Consider subscribing right down here in that see the little box in the lower right hand side of the screen. It's free, it doesn't cost nothing. It'll help the channel out. And if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Right. See you in the next one. Have a nice one. So let's give that a whirl.
table. All right. On another call, same day, Friday. Um, I know I said in my previous videos that I don't work on manufactured homes. This is another one that I did many years ago. Uh, trailer furnace, so she has no heat. So let's see what's going on with it. Okay, honey, bye-bye. Oh. This is my son, just calling and checking. Oh, that's a good son. I'd do the same thing. <laughs> I threw the switch there, you know, thinking maybe it might have been electrical. Okay. Because where the thermostat is, there was no... That was not on either. Okay, okay. So I'll leave you to you. One thing I wanted to tell you was um, the last couple of days, I noticed it when I was laying in bed because I could hear it better in there. But there's that sound it makes, you know, that before it lights. But when it come out, it come out with such a poof. It was okay. almost scary. Okay. So I just uh, wanted you to know that was already. Alrighty, I'll dig into it and see what's going on with it. Alright, thanks. Yep. Just changed the batteries. These were corroded. So that was blank. I just replaced the batteries and that's good to go now. Hey, let's see what's going on with this thing. I got tired of never having batteries. And I bought myself for my birthday one of these. One of these here. Oh, okay, sure. And it's been the best version that I can check. started glowing, hot surface igniter started glowing. The red dot above the plenum up there, is that a, like a warning to something? Nope, that's nothing, it's just uh, something from factory. dead batteries. I'm going to cycle this off once and see what happens, but yeah. Yeah, 
wouldn't hurt. What's that? I think every homeowner should uh, have a supplementary source of heat just for emergency purposes, you know. The gentleman over here next door, they have a generator. And if the power goes out, I got two cords, two 25-foot cords, uh -huh. and into the garage. And he says, if you want to keep the refrigerator going or whatever going, he said, just plug into it. Sure. And so that really makes it nice. I had a, got a Nestema. Uh huh. Ten thousand two hundred dollars to have a generator put in here. Yep, I'm getting one put in my house. Oh my gosh, I can't afford it. I'm gonna go and get just a regular one. I can still put gas in it, you know. But yeah, they're not cheap, and they're not gonna get any cheaper. And I, I wish I got, I would have got one years ago. But you know, woulda, shoulda, coulda. Up so it'll notify your phone. Yeah. He's got somebody about here every other month out here fixing something. I don't know what it is that's going wrong, but um, he gets a warning on his phone and he said, I don't understand that. He said they have the original and then he bought the extra warranty. Uh huh. What well, can possibly? Hey, it's me again. Hit that subscribe button right down here. Right down there, see it? And give me a smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Have a nice one. So it's running, but it's not well, now, yeah, that's what's going. There's a hot okay. surface igniter going, and it's got a, one that glows, and it opens up the gas valve. Okay. Yep, I just disconnected the white wire up there. And now it's on. No, you're fine. Yeah, this is a slow opening gas valve. Can you buy these filters anywhere? Or do they have No, you gotta order them? Yeah, you just gotta. I wash them. Yeah, that's all you gotta do with that.